Hello, and welcome to how to set up your spatial data tool for Revit. The spatial data tool provides a means to apply your shared parameters to your areas and rooms, apply default values, and synchronize those values. Alternatively, you can apply values you define using a classification database you've generated. This is a useful tool to ensure project standards are being met. How to set this up is first, ensure that you have BIM interoperability tools set up for Revit, look for the spatial data panel, and then click on Setup. Here you can already choose a configuration file that you've either generated or one that was generated for you. In this example, I'm going to start from scratch. When I click on Next, this allows me to browse for a share parameters file. This is where I have generated share parameters to be applied to both areas and rooms. Once I've chosen my share parameters file, it comes up here in this list. I can click on Next. When I'm ready, I can now start to choose which parameters I'm going to be applying to either rooms or areas or both. I'm going to minimize these categories here because all I need here is my spatial data parameters. I could choose which parameters I want to add by just clicking on the plus sign here. If I don't want a particular parameter to be added, I can just come right over here to the right hand side and click on the X. This summary provides you a good means of checking which parameters are going to be added. I can always reset the list back to default. Once I've chosen which parameters I want to add, now I need to choose how I want to apply them. I can either apply them to rooms, areas, or I could choose both. In this example, I'm going to choose both. When I click on Next, this now allows me to tie this to a classification man manager database. This is where I can set up default values for my parameters to be inserted into my project. You can either start from scratch, which will allow you to go into an Excel file and fill out that information in each one of your tabs. You can also browse for an existing classification manager database. In this example, I already have a data database already created for me. When I'm ready, I can click on Next. Here, this allows you to choose how you're going to be adding in these parameters. First, you can choose how they're being grouped. This is following your standard Revit family grouping. Now that I've chosen my group for each one of my parameters, now I can set up a default value. If I want to add in a default value, I could just either double click inside this cell, or better yet, if I already have a classification manager database filled out using Excel, I could just use that default value that I've already previously defined. How to do that is to come over here to the three dots, click on choose value from classification manager database, and then choose the appropriate tab and the parameter value. When you click on Assign, that value will now fill that in. You can add in concatenation text when both number and description are going to be used. So let's use that as an example. I'm going to choose another default value here. I'm going to use space category on the class table 13. Here I could choose these items and assign it. And then I could choose the concatenation here being applied. I can add in dashes if I want to. And to see that take place, I could just apply it here saying use both number and description. 
as you can see, there's my slashes. When I am finished, I can click on Next. And in this summary, this will tell me which shared parameters file is being used, what my data parameters are, the classification manager database that's being used, how it's being applied, and what the default values are. I'm getting three spatial data parameters, one that will contain default values. If I want to save this setup, I can always click on Export Settings, and this will save as an XML file. In the beginning, when we went through the setup process, instead of starting from scratch, you could choose that exported file. When you are finished, you can click on Finish and Close. Now let's see if my parameters were actually added to my project correctly. I'm going to look for an area. and Down here, I can see my space category applied with that concatenation that I was using earlier. This completes the setup video.